four people, none of whom are professional astronauts, are due to launch into space on a SpaceX capsule on September 15. Inspiration4, the world's first all-civilian mission to space, aims to complete the first orbital space flight with only private citizens on board as part of a fundraising effort for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, a nonprofit research facility and hospital in the United States that provides free care to children with cancer. Let's discuss this exciting mission in detail. Last year, Jared Isaacman, the 38-year-old founder and CEO of Shift4 Payments, and an accomplished pilot and adventurer, booked a flight on SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule and chose three normal folks to accompany him. Isaacman is joined by Haley Arsenault, a physician assistant at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, where she was also once a patient. Sian Proctor, the mission's pilot, is a geosciences professor at South Mountain Community College in Arizona and a science communicator. The fourth seat went to Christopher Sombrowski, an Air Force veteran who works for aerospace giant Lockheed Martin. Sombrowski will serve as the mission specialist and will help manage payload, science experiments, communications to mission control and more. Isaacman paid for all four seats on Crew Dragon and dropped the first $100 million of a $200 million fundraiser for St. Jude. The crew has been training since March, about seven months before liftoff. In April, at the Naster Center, the crew underwent centrifuge training to prepare for the various dynamic situations encountered during space flight, including launch, re-entry, ocean splashdown, and a potential in-flight abort scenario. These centrifuge profiles were modeled by SpaceX after previous Crew Dragon missions to closely replicate the G-forces the crew will experience during their trip to space. In May, the team took on a challenging team-building activity by climbing to Camp Muir on Mount Rainier in Washington state. Camp Muir rests just above 10,000 feet in altitude and presents a difficult climb for new and experienced climbers alike. The climb presented an opportunity for the crew to grow as a team in a difficult environment, facing cold temperatures, limited visibility, and minimal accommodations at the camp. Isaacman and Proctor received training at SpaceX's headquarters in Hawthorne, California in June. The two become acquainted with the Crew Dragon because, while it can fly on its own, they need to know the craft through and out to be prepared for any eventuality. The crew observed launch operations of previous missions, including the SpaceX Crew-2 mission to the space station and the Crew-1 splashdown and recovery operations. The team experienced zero gravity for the first time in July. The experiment was carried out aboard a modified Boeing 727 aircraft, piloted by the Zero Gravity Corporation. The crew was all smiles as the plane flew in alternating upward and downward arcs, also known as the parabolic maneuver, to create a microgravity environment in the aircraft cabin and allow passengers to experience brief periods of weightlessness. In August, the crew announced that they will partake in a first-of-its-kind health research initiative to increase humanity's knowledge on the impact of space flight on the human body. Once in orbit, the crew will perform carefully selected research experiments on human health and performance, which will have potential applications for human health on Earth and during future space flights. As the crew members of the mission prepared for the historic flight, SpaceX was busy preparing the Crew Dragon spacecraft and the Falcon 9 rocket for the flight. Crew Dragon resilience will be used to fly the Inspiration4 mission, which will be the capsule's second flight after Crew-1 mission. The spacecraft's docking adapter, normally used to dock with the International Space Station, has been replaced for this mission by a single monolithic domed glass window, allowing 360 degrees views outside Resilience's nose. The three-layer observation dome which was extensively tested and qualified for flight in six months will be the largest contiguous space window ever flown. Resilience will launch from Kennedy Space Center's Launch Complex 39A atop Falcon 9 Block 5 Booster B1062. First and second stage separation will occur at T plus 2 minutes and 40 seconds, and the booster will return to Earth for an autonomous drone ship landing. Twelve minutes into the flight, the spacecraft will separate from the rocket's second stage and enter into Earth's orbit. Once in orbit, Dragon will travel to an apogee of approximately 575 kilometers, flying farther than any human space flight since the Hubble missions. The crew will re-enter the atmosphere after three days depending on the weather around Florida and splash down in the Atlantic Ocean. SpaceX recovery teams will meet up with the capsule, load it onto a ship, remove the crew, and bring them ashore. After completing their final day of astronaut training at SpaceX's headquarters in Hawthorne, the crew of Inspiration4 arrived in Florida on September 9, landing at Space Florida's launch and landing facility at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. Additionally, the Dragon spacecraft was transported from its processing facility on Cape Canaveral Space Force Station to SpaceX's hangar at Kennedy Space Center, where it was mated with the Falcon 9 rocket. 
The Falcon 9 launcher rolled out of SpaceX's hangar on September 11 and rode to the historic Seaside launch facility, where a hydraulic lift raised the 65-meter launcher vertical. The next day the Inspiration4 crew donned their flight suits, completed air pressure integrity checks, and took their seats inside the crew capsule during a dress rehearsal for launch day. Hours later, once the crew members cleared the launch pad, SpaceX test-fired the Falcon 9 rocket set to launch the Inspiration4 mission. If all goes as planned, Inspiration4 launch marks the first fully private mission for SpaceX, which developed its Crew Dragon spacecraft as part of NASA's commercial crew program. Let's wait to see this gripping space launch mission.